Channel 4's John Caddy's Klimak live now in your Belinda at the Disaster Relief Center. John. Hey, Chris, all these folks here that you see, these are volunteers who have decided to take it upon themselves to help their community. You see all these bags? There is potential that every one of these bags by the end of today will be in front of somebody's home because there is potential by the end of today the rains will fall. I just did that on Saturday. Alfred Gallagher got started early. So far, 24, but I need probably a few more. Hoping early steps will help avoid yet another catastrophe. They're afraid for their, the houses that are existing. Kevin Andrews is a general contractor, volunteering his time to help homeowners. But it's the city of Yorba Linda that's pouring money into helping most, with some 50,000 sandbags already dispersed citywide. Mother Nature is not cooperating with us, and, and so we're doing our best to help them out. The city's offering 25 bags per household. Hardly enough, but that's not the point. Get them started and come back, because we're trying to um, spread our resources to as many residents as possible. They're going to need a lot more than that. We don't really know what's going to happen. Everything on our hill was uh, burned off. So. Residents are getting ready. They saw what the fires did to their neighborhoods, and they couldn't stop it. With this, there's a hope they can. The fire came all the way down to the back of our property. We were one of the fortunate ones, however. And fortunate during the fire, but what about now? Well, I don't know. <laughs> That's what we're trying to prepare for, so. You know, this fire affected so many people. When you consider how much it actually burned, 310 homes burned or damaged, 47 square miles all burned. Even right here behind us, you can see the close proximity to where folks are now trying to get these sandbags together for the next big event, these mudslides that could happen because of all the rain coming down the mountains. We hear from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers that all that rain, all the debris that comes off the mountain could move anywhere from five miles an hour to as fast as freeway speeds. We're live in Yorba Linda. I'm John Kylie's Klimak, Channel 4 News.